Hi guys, uh, here I am again. I don't know what happened. I need to make sure uh, fix this for the for the next time I do a live. Um, I'm gonna close my face very quick so I can know, hear the cling cling cling. There you go. So let's go back here. Okay, so this is where I didn't do anything yet. I just duplicate the um, a background. I crop it this area and I clone a little bit around here uh, to get rid of the distractions. I'm going to just fill this area a little bit that I uh, get rid of. Um, okay, so what is the first time that we do when we're editing? We work on the skin, and it's the first thing that I do when I do, uh, when I started. Uh, here is not really that much that I need to do because she's looking at the other side, but still I need to add some color and some tones there. So what I'm gonna do, uh, usually I save all my work flow when I edit so it's more easy for me and probably it's going to be easy for you too for example if I'm going to do this I'm going to add some um, levels so I have the levels uh, right here I'm going to put it right here okay I'm going to change my screen to my workplace to my my personal settings so I make this like this and I'm going to put this right here so this is what what I put my settings when I start editing you can go windows here workplace and then you have essential graphic photography painting so you can make your own like a station something like that so you have you know the best comfortable uh, place to work when you do your editing and uh, I choose my own so I make it this way so I make it's more easy for me uh, because I have everything here so I just can open right here and drag it if I need it uh, so let's get started with this and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to put it separate because I want it to be separate. So you just do like this and put it on there so you don't have to see the whole line uh, of tools in front of you. Uh, I just look, order these like this, the history too. So go together. And then our uh, the actions go here too. And I only have my layers and my channels. So I'm going to move this right here. There we go. So what I'm going to do, I open a level. What I do is I double click. If you click right here, right here, you see save and load. When I edit usually anything, I try to save my, uh, I try to save my uh, options. So the next time I did, I just load it and use it. For example, here. Uh, I have some settings saving, so what I did, I open levels, I go here and I go load to open. It's going to open a folder where your levels are. So you're going to, in this case, for example, I'm going to go and get some color in her skin. This is a porcelain tone that I save, so I get open. So it's open in here. What I'm going to do only is going to command I inverted or control I inverted. You're going to grab uh, let's go. 
when I've got my tools here. Right here. What I'm going to do here, I invert this and with my brush white, I'm going to just add the effect in the areas. This is pretty pink, but you can load the opacity and I make a little more light and tone in her skin. So what I use here, I use the RGB, I make these configurations 0, 1.27 to 54 and go to my red and I make 22, 122, 140 and I go to green, I don't make any change on the green, oh yes, 8 here in my greens and I go to the blues and just add a little here. So after I done these settings, you save it you go here and you go save level per set and then it's gonna open a folder where the levels are and you're just gonna name your preset you're gonna name it probably porcelain skin or skin tone or light skin whatever you want and you click save and this is gonna save in the folder so the next time you are gonna use it you just click here go click uh, levels and then you go back and say load your level and load the level that you save it so this is gonna be easy for you to remember don't you know sometimes you don't remember what you do what you done when you're editing and if you have saving your own it's more gonna be more easy for you to finish it so it's just a tip that I want to share with you guys uh, so I, I change the skin tone a little bit like that. You can name this one skin tone so you know what you're doing. So next step here, I'm going to change that little, a little the tones here, but first of all, I'm going to add a sky. So I'm going to go to my library. I have here my library, my actions, my history. Like I say, it's easy this way so I know where everything is. This is my library. This is where I, uh, I have all my, my uh, tools that I need, my PNGs, my skies, my textures, my flowers, my light. Everything is in here. So I know where they are so I don't need to go file and open and or place to the to your image so it's gonna make your work more uh, long if you have everything already in here in your library it's gonna be easy for you what how you do the library you go window and you find your libraries this is gonna open this window how I add a library in here? You just go here, go create new library. You name the library, for example, um, I don't know, anything, I'm gonna put flower. You create it and then you have here an empty uh, space. What you do, you're gonna go to file and you're gonna find the, um, the file that you are, that you have your flowers, for example, and then I don't know if I have anything here, but I'm gonna give you an example quick. For example, this picture. Uh, this is probably a flower field without hair, right? You just go and drag it, and this graphic is gonna save in your library. So if you need it in your in your next uh, composite on your next picture, you just grab drag it. And you have it here. Instead to go file and export uh, and uh, sorry, if, uh, instead to you go file and uh, place or file open or drag it, you have everything here already. So this is how I do my. Uh, I'm gonna delete this. This is how I do uh, organize me better here in Photoshop. I'm gonna open now my sky 
Let's go. I have these guys that uh, are mine that I talk way uh, before I moved here in Florida. Um, this is a, actually a package that you can buy from my website. And I'm going to add one of these in, the, in here. I'm going to add this one. So I select it and I just drag it. And this is going to go in my image. Close here. I'm going to move my sky wherever I'm going to place it. Let's go do it. I want to see this area here. So I'm going to make it bigger. I'm just going to place it here. So what I do, I create a mask. I'm going to my guardian and I'm going to make sure I am on transparency. Okay, transparency. We're going to click here and we're just going to go up here and diffuse this sky from our background. Just going to go slow diffusing the color. Uh, you can click the mask and you can refill the areas that you want to fill back. So you get a brush, you probably load opacity, fill it. Now I'm going to select the layer and I'm going to blur it because I have to be blurred just the, the background. So let's go around probably 16. You're going to select the mask and you're going to erase the areas that are uh, covering here part of the mountain. Mountain. I, I always have a hard time say that word. My husband almost said mountain, mountain, and I said no. That my accent, oops, I'm gonna load opacity here and slightly get rid of the darkness here. Keep erasing around here. Try to make a little, you know, make the most natural possible. Um, feel it here. Uh, you can go back and erase a little more. Then you can load opacity a little bit. So looks kind of natural and not like you put it on there. And you can see so much difference. You can load more. So now I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab my hue and saturation and I'm going to pick a color here. With this hand, I'm going to pick a green, this. So it's going to pick the green. I'm going to just desaturate a little bit the green. And then I'm going to go col click colorize. And I'm going to add a color that I'm looking for this, like probably this brown, light brown tone. And I'm going to change the mood probably to soft light. Okay, we change to soft light. You can change it to overlay, to hard light. 
but I'm going to leave it in soft light. Sorry, soft light. I'm going to load opacity and those green turn a little more darker and a little more in contrast. Uh, I'm going to click here in the layer and I'm going to get rid of that a little bit on her and the, the baby's uh, dolls. So I just want the effect actually only in the background. But I'm going to bring back her tones a little bit there. Um, here you see the difference. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to flat all of these. I'm going to create a layer. I'm going to grab here my rectangle tool. I'm going to make a square here, an empty square. I'm going to grab my gradient. I'm going to make sure it's transparent. I'm just going to click up. I'm going to make a little vignette in this area. Control Command D to um, select it or uh, ALT. Um, you're going to create a mask with my brush. I'm going to get rid of these areas around here. Just leave a little bit dark in the bottom. Load opacity. Here. Also, I'm going to go and uh, hue saturation and I'm going to change the color of my flowers. So I'm going to select the yellow and let's change the yellows to orange. See, we change the tones there in the flowers. Uh, now I'm going to add a color look up and I'm going to see, this is the tone, the, all the uh, colors that I already uh, came with Photoshop. I don't have nothing new here. You have the same two, so they comes actually with Photoshop. I'm gonna let's play with these and try to add the tea orange first. This give you a little moody tone. You can change to different modes here. Load opacity. Give you that dark. You can load more the opacity, so it's not that strong. I'm going to get rid of that on them because I don't want the effect on them. I can go and add another color up now and add some kind of warm tone here. Probably a crispy warm. I can change this again to different mode. Actually, you can go color too. You just see. I can live in color and I can load opacity. And we add this warm tone and that doesn't affect the skin, so it looks good. Um, now I'm going to add another level here. I'm gonna bring some, I'm gonna load a level that I have preset already. I'm going to add, um, let's see. which one I want it. Let's go the glow contrast. See? This is the settings. If I click here, you want to see that what I did. 15 and RGB. 1.05 to 36. 
let's see red I didn't have any change in red any change in green any change in blue the only change that I did was in RGB to bring some glow and contrast in the whole picture I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna get rid a little bit of that on my subjects okay now I'm gonna flat all of this I'm gonna add a little more blur in the background so I'm gonna duplicate this I'm gonna go to filter I'm gonna go to blur and I'm gonna go here to tilt shift I'm going to here see how much background of uh, how much blur I want in the background I'm looking only in that area in the in the background behind here so I'm gonna leave it around here I can move my sliders to see it's not on the top of hair just naturally blur not too much but enough to change those lines here in the background so as you see that make the change only in the background and in the bottom so it's pretty much um, natural the background and the blur like it's made from the camera um, one thing uh, that I want to do too because it have you, you see have light around here uh, here I'm gonna make more that area more light coming from there so I'm gonna create an empty layer I'm gonna grab a light color yellow light yellow I'm gonna change this to vivid and I'm going to color around her hair low opacity just like that let me change this to soft light um, let me go close go overlay go for hard light let's go soft light so you got more light coming in that in that way I'm going to create a mask with a black brush I'm gonna get rid of that here I only want that outside her hair like the light is hitting more on her hair also I'm going to add here um, Let's see flare I'm gonna add a flare you know flares you can add it you if you have it uh, for free or you can buy from uh, anywhere I just have these forever I created some of them I some of them I just um, buy it from somebody else usually for from Jessica Drossin is where I have all my stuff because I affiliate with her but you can get it anywhere just let me find where I put it I don't remember uh, golden light probably gonna use this I'm not sure or I have somewhere here on my actions uh, okay I just 
I think I'm gonna do it from here. I save it somewhere, but I'm looking for the big, big uh, flare. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna just move it around here. And I'm going to change this to screen. You can change uh, the screen. I'm gonna make these smaller. Uh, let's try one thing. Let I'm gonna just do it one time. I'm gonna get a layer here, and I'm gonna grab a tone here from probably. This orange. I'm gonna go ahead and make it around. Here, big circle, and I'm gonna change this to soft light or hard light. Let's go soft light. Just gonna put in here. It's like the sun is hitting this way around here. How much better? Okay, so it's like the sun is coming this way. So now I'm going to go to photo filter and I'm going to grab a warm, probably 85 is fine. We can add some of this effect here and actually it's gonna look good on her skin. Still, you can change the mode here, but I'm going to leave it just in normal. And I'm going to invert it, Command I, and I'm going to only color that on them, but not the background, only on them. I'm going to low the opacity. Now I'm going to select my curves. And I'm gonna grab that red channel. I'm gonna bring back up my reds a little bit. Just a bit here too. To bring back a little more warm tone there. And I'm going to add a channel mixer and make sure you select the blue I'm gonna bring more warm here with my adding more probably 91 so you see the difference I'm going to flat all these I'm going now zoom out I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to go other and high pass and I'm going to click to to over sharp the whole image I'm going to change this to soft light you can do a hard light and you see the difference I load opacity here One thing I can do too, I'm going to add some more light coming from the bottom here. So I'm going to select this area here. I'm going to click Shift and I'm going to select this area here. So you have these two selected. I'm going to now select and mask and we're going to feather this a little bit. To, so the edges are not hard 
and I'm going to add a curve. So we're going to clip up my mid-tones to add some light in the areas. You can load opacity. Now you can flat all of that. I'm going to crop a little bit more here in the bottom. Just a little bit here too. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to camera roll. I'm going to add a little more vignette here. So I'm going to go to effect and I'm going to vignette here to close our story here. And then probably here. Just see how much vignette do you want it. You can feather it. Click OK. You can duplicate again, add another camera roll, and I'm going to go here to my. Uh, where is it? Right here, the colors. I'm going to low my highlights a little bit more, a little more shadows, be a little more clarify, a little more vibrance. And I'm going to add that only on my subject. Click to mask, invert Command I, and just add the effect on her and the little babies. So we'll add more. Um, details on them. Okay. Scroll down. I'm gonna flat. And the last thing, I'm gonna add some curves here. Low my mid tones. And add a little more black here, a little just to click in the mask with a brush and bring back those just here in the middle. You can load opacity. And we are done with this, okay? So I hope you like it. I'm sorry for all the inconvenience in the video live, but I don't know what happened. Let's see the before and after, how we start this and how we finish. Thank you so much. I'm going now to post this on Facebook and I hope you like it. See you next time.